And then my last question is uh, about battles. We asked DJ Duct Tape and Magic last week about battles. Um, they were not as <laughs> they were not as into it as I thought they would be. You guys do battles, have won battles, are awesome with routines. Talk about what goes into a great routine and how do you know you have something? And do you like battling at all? <laughs> Jungle stuff. I, I want to say real real quick, the reason yeah. me and Jungle talk about sharing a screen and like having, you know, us on the same one and watching it. And then I watched last week's episode. And I'm like, ah, dude, we're gonna get too distracted. Like, it's, I don't think it's gonna work. We should have separate computer screens. But uh, Jung, I'll let you start that one. No, let's see here. Um, it's honestly nerve wracking. If you really want it that bad, it it's a uh, it's like a full time job. Um, coming up with a routine can take forever, dude. And you just when once you get it, you constantly practice and practice until you like can religiously do it in your sleep. Um. You know, like it, it doesn't happen overnight. You, it, it comes to you like as you're kind of like practicing, just like in your your bedroom or your living room, just for shits and gigs. You're like, oh, this this word player, this word player would go great with this. And then you kind of it's like dominoes, like you keep like stacking up your stack of of, of chips, and it just like kind of like all comes together. But like the practice that and the the homework that you do uh, before like it's game time is just it, it's sometimes exhausting, and then. And then they're like, oh, it's not good enough. I got to come up with something new. It's the same way every single battle. It takes a lot. Yeah. I, to go off that, I'll, t- uh, I'll tell you what drives me is embarrassment. Mm-hmm. I am not trying to, like, when you sign up for this battle, you're like, yo, we'll like, the, judges, the judges are DJs. And, you know, sometimes they're the best DJs in the area. And last thing you know, I want to do is go up there and just look like a fool. So I'm going to, you know, I put together a routine. Sometimes I'm lucky and I'll come up with like, I'll come up with like half a routine, a half a 10 minute routine and like nothing. And then the last five minutes could take me like two months. It's just like the biggest headache. And I think honestly, to make a really good routine, you just have to have fun with it. Like I, I placed third place in a, a battle up in Toledo. And the last five minutes of my mix was me using the word ass in between all my, <laughs> like, to segue all my tracks. That's my I, that's I thought it'd be funny. I'll tell you what, though. I was, I was like, that you took you from is? fourth to third, though. I'll tell you that. <laughs> I, was in, I was in second place until a guy from Detroit came last and knocked me down to third. But I just thought it'd be funny. I'm like, hey, wouldn't it be funny if, like, the last five minutes of my routine was just the play, word play on the word ass and, like, dicks? And honestly, yeah. that ran out of time. Yeah. Like everybody got a kick out of it. You just have fun with it. And, and we've done so many that we we've seen literally everything. We've seen people who have pre-recorded their sets and yeah. acted like they were yeah. DJing it. We've seen oh, people man. that uh, would just play all dubstep the whole night. What we we've seen people. I've seen guys that the like whole time uh, that'll just that didn't know how to use. Them. Yeah, they didn't. Just, I've seen guys that didn't know how to use CDJs enter like, the battle. Yeah, yes. They're like, I don't know how to work this equipment. Like, you either, either got to use CDJs or turntables. Well, and like, I don't know. So, that idea like, of a battle in my mind is doing a routine, a combination of you know, either yeah. you can scratch if you want, but at least mashups, live mashups, uh, unique transitions, yeah. mm-hmm. um, word plays. And yep. so, if it's, it, but from what I'm hearing all the time is sometimes people will go in and just try to play like a, a set, like a, a club 10 set. or 15 minute set. Recently yeah. it's been like that literally the last two years. Yeah. But, so and, t- and, and to, to kind of defend those people, a lot of these battles, like, you know, even if, if, te- if technicality is a score, it's only like 20 to 30%, 33% of like your overall score. Yeah. So let's say someone like Bombay, who's like, you know, a plus technical master Stop could play running. a set and be the most technical, and that's only thirty, to, you know, twenty five to thirty three percent of his score. Yeah. So a guy yeah, who sure. comes in and kills it with the crowd, and you know, maybe they play the top ten songs, it's mixed nicely, and it just they just happen to pick the sing alongs that the crowd like. There's sixty six percent, you know, right. positive, to, uh, you know, positive score from there. So that's I think that's what what Krupp's talking about. It's all about having a good balance in all yeah. categories, I think. Yeah, I've seen guys come up there and just scratch like crazy and like yeah, not do good. I've seen guys play nothing but like Britney Spears, just cheese. 
And like the crowd loved it. But like, yo, you didn't really show us anything. You just show us you could play really cheesy pop it. But they got to advance. Right? <laughs> no, no, they, they did no, they didn't advance. Oh, uh, okay, gotcha. I've, gotcha. I've never seen I've never seen people advance. Like when they've seen a lot of real cheesy coming to play things too. Sure. It depends what kind of it depends what kind of where you like pretty much where you get the battle. If you're gonna do a battle at like a bar, there's a good chance that's gonna fly. If you're doing the battle at like a club, like at Barley, like the stand the they have a little bit of a higher criteria. Mm-hmm. Right. I, my, my advice would be know your judges. Like know oh, kind of yeah. what your judges want. Study up on who they are. I mean, t- the ones that I do, it's typically like one bar manager, maybe one or two DJs, and then someone like one of the sponsors. So you're getting, you know, one person who's going to be looking at your technicality stuff and then two people who are looking at your, um, you know, the crowd response or whatever balance that is. So you kind of know your judges and what they might be looking for. Uh, but again, you've already practiced your set for Jungle. You're talking about like three, four months in advance. Uh, so you go in there. It's like, do you have more multiple sets ready? Do you have things that you can change on the They're fly? They're using more than one round too. So yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's that's the that's the worst part right there. And then there's like, a tiebreaker sometimes with five minutes. It's just it, it goes on and on and on, dude. I remember this year at Barley House, the first round I did. Yo, I I went in there guns blazing and I won. And I was like, cool. I don't have anything else. Like I put everything I had into like one shot. And yeah, it was I made pretty good it. storm. No one showed up either. Yeah, man. I drove. I drove from up there in a, the middle of like a five inch snowstorm, and like the local <laughs> some local guys couldn't even make it. Dang. Like that. I really is, wanted that win. Do I like these getting... guys, James? <laughs> in a snowstorm, going to be battled, they yeah, don't even like to do. Yo, <laughs> real quick, shout out to DJ Frankie J because I was going up to Toledo to pick him up, and my car could not handle the snow. And he, you know what he said? He said, "Get in my truck, I'll take you myself." That's awesome. And that—that's the homie right there. Nice shout- guys. Where can people find you? Uh, social media handles. Uh, go ahead, Junga. Uh, Twitter at DJ Junga. I need to get better at tweeting. Uh, I have recently, but um, that's kind of where I slack. I never post any gigs or anything on it. I need to because it's kind of like more personal to me, I guess. Um, Interesting. Which face- you start with that one. <laughs> Facebook, at awesome. Uh, Instagram at awesome Junga. Um, Snapchat is Jungalaya. Uh, Mixed Cloud, uh, DJ Junga as well. Everything's like DJ Junga. So. I, I, you would put your Snapchat. Official. You would, man. He's over here like, hey. That's how I do it. I promote myself on Snapchat. I know a lot of people so slide yeah, up. Like, yo, oh, yo, send me uh-huh. send me snaps. You know, Got I'm at DJ Jungle. <laughs> oh, no, we all know what happens on Snapchat. Go ahead, Danny Paco. Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, you can find me. Fans page. Yo, Jugger got the wild feet pics. Go ahead and join his own fans. <laughs> you got the Snapchat pro. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Yo, you could find me on uh, Facebook at Instagram, Speedway <laughs> at, the, at your local Speedway boy. <laughs> uh, you basically find me anywhere: SoundCloud, MixCloud, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook at DJ Danny Paco. Uh, Yo, know, Venmo's the same thing. You know, since we're throwing out stuff like that, Venmo is also at DJ Danny Paco. You know, help me uh, get some tornadoes from Speedway. Tornados, huh? I don't know. I hope somebody does send you some money. That'd be great. You know, if you send me Venmo money, just make sure you put uh, in the caption "tornado money." I don't know what it's for. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then uh, for six fourteen releases, guys. Uh, as you see, six fourteen makes us very comfortable. Uh, man, I can. I'm missing words today. Clothes. What's the what's the like the special apparel? <laughs> apparel, apparel, <laughs> apparel and accessories. <laughs> That's the 50 oh, was... of clothes, right? God damn. Uh, that cold front. 60... That cold front. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 614 is the exact opposite of this like commercial <laughs> slash me trying to promote them. It's amazing stuff. Um, that's all I'm going to say about it because I'm just going to make it worse by saying it. But we have 614 releases. Uh, Fallen by Fear and Low is out on Obvious Records. Is that today? That is today. They're house artists, aren't they? Nice. Yes, they are. Yeah, okay. Alex and Zach. Shout out to Alex and Zach. So uh, make sure you guys, you know, go to Spotify, add it to your playlist, like them, share it with your friends. And, uh, you know, I haven't listened to it quite yet because obviously it came out today, but that's probably what I'll do first thing after this podcast. Big shout out, Fear and Low. And that was it. I don't think Intel had a release this week. Uh, James, um, shout out. I want to give a shout out to yeah. uh, Bach Oven. His uh, new release, 
it wasn't just released, but it, like a week ago or two two weeks ago, and his his uh, song is charting on Beatport on number one. Wow. On, some of the, on not on the regular Beatport, but one of the charts, it's on number one, and he's been doing great with that track. So congratulations to uh, Max Bachoven. Yeah, man, that's dope. Oh, yeah. uh, for for him because I mean he started fairly recently and you know has been killing the game so Columbus DJs are doing it man guys if you found something helpful if you laughed a little bit like the video subscribe for more of the Columbus DJ podcast gear reviews we did a software review yesterday for Stemverter on the channel um you know tutorials all that oh, stuff yeah. and then uh, comment you know if you guys have questions about something we talked about I answer every comment if you have a question for Junga Paco or Corrupt I'll forward it over to them so they get an answer to you uh, we're just trying to build a community of awesome DJs where we can ask, you know, uh, high intensity questions and get great responses just like we had today. So Junga, Danny Paco, thank you guys so much. Uh, you you don't have to drive this time to Columbus, but uh, hopefully the next time you will and we'll all get to hang out. So Corrupt, great job 100%. tonight, man. Good luck with uh, whatever you got going on next. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much, guys. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thanks for having us. Peace. Yep. Later. Be safe.